Okay, we have to give Spinelli just a few more minutes. How's the bride doing? Thinking profound thoughts. Uh, yeah, weddings do that to you, especially your own wedding. None of this is luck or coincidence. What do you mean? You mean you and Spinelli? Georgie was crazy in love with Spinelli. <laughs> I guarantee if she had lived, she would be the one meeting him at the top of that aisle. Mm. You know, when Georgie died, it left such a huge hole in my heart. I thought that I wouldn't ever be happy again. It's like she... She sent Spinelli to fill me up and take my hand and lead me away from that dark place that was eating me alive. He is the absolute best thing that's ever happened to me. And how ungrateful and arrogant would I be to reject something like that? Okay, so we're all set? <laughs> yeah. Maxie. I used to worry about you a lot. <laughs> You're like a little sister to me. But now you found your soulmate and now I don't have to worry about you. I just have to be proud. Thank I love you. you. <laughs> now go get married. <laughs> I used to worry too about Spinelli, that you wouldn't see what a wonderful guy he was and that you would break his heart, but I'm, I've never been so happy to be proven wrong. Spinelli loves me more than anyone ever will. I know that. It's not too late to change your mind. Only you would take that from what I just said. Mac, <laughs> I love Spinelli, and I'm about to marry him. So, is that our cue? Yep, we'll be in there in one second. Okay. Look at you. All grown up. About to be married. When did this happen? Where did the years go? I love you, Mac. Dad. Wow, if it wasn't for you, I don't know. Georgie and I, we would have been lost. Especially me. Because no matter what happened, no matter all the chaos that was going on in my life, I knew I had a safe place to go wherever you were. And now it's time to let you go. I know that you don't approve. That doesn't matter. You love him. He makes you happy. That's all I can ask. Ready? Well, I'm ready. <laughs> Trust in you, Spinelli. You take care of her. I will. Dearly beloved. We are gathered here today to join Damien Spinelli and Maxie Jones in holy matrimony. We ask you, O oh Lord, to give them the wisdom and devotion that they each may be strength to the other. A counselor in troubled times, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Grant that they may grow in love together all the days of their lives. Damien and Maxie have chosen to write their own vows. Let us all bear witness. Ah. 
how I love you. I struggled today. I've written vows. No, I'd, um, I'd carefully crafted vows to assuage your reservations. But as fate would have it, they were irretrievably lost, leaving me with nothing but the words in my heart. And that's what I'll depend on now. I'm not like other people. Hmm. <laughs> I, I never have been. But I, I became used to the outsider status, and I, I was really quite content. I, I mean, my mind is an active and fertile one. I'm never bored in my own company, and if being alone was to be my lot, well, there are worse things in this life to have to endure. But then there were... And there was you. Luminous. Transformative, Maxie. And you saw me. You got me. And to my utter shock, amazement and profound gratitude, You loved me. And that is the most precious gift. And I will never, ever betray it. And that is why I cannot marry you.